Hello everyone, so my name is Anne for of ZB Farms and I am excited. I am today working on building some seed starter boxes. Um, I think last week I might have mentioned that I was making planner boxes. Not yet. It's still January here and it is less than 28 degrees. I want to say it's about 22 degrees outside. So I am actually working on seed starter trays and we are going to use those to start our seeds today. The reason I'm doing this is because every time we get the plastic ones from the store, my goal is to save them, recycle them, and use them again. However, that never works. They get left outside, they get stepped on, they get destroyed, and that's just not going to work for me. So I am making some new ones. Um, so I'm going to take you on this journey. Now, I am just using whatever wood I find around my house. Like, we have one by sixes, we have one by eights. I went to my mom's house and got random tongue and groove. And so I don't have exact measurements. However, in the next couple weeks I, on my blog, I will be placing um, a chart with the exact measurements and how to make these. So please be <laughs> prepared for that. But right now we are just using what we have in our house. So join me. I also have a video that I'm going to attach to this and it's me building um, some more roosts for in our chicken coop. That same thing, we just used what wood we had in our house and built it from there and I will kind of go through the process of that as well. So join me in this fun adventure. All right everyone, so some of the items that you're going to need is you're going to want one, um, any type of wood, one by eights I recommend. We only have one by sixes so that's what we're using. Uh, but one by eights is what I would recommend. A bunch of one by fours. These were tongue and groove and I actually just ripped the ends off of them so that they weren't tongue and groove anymore. Um, nails is the item of choice I would use. I wouldn't recommend screws, but nails would work great. Um, wood glue, of course, I don't have it out because to be honest, I can't find it right this second, but I will find it before I put it together. And then we are also using this contact paper as a way to make it a little bit more waterproof. So again, not necessary. You can also use parchment paper and just lay it down when you're all done. We're just using this because again, we have it. We have it free in the house. So might as well use it. And then a couple of tools that you're probably going to want to use is I have just a palm sander. Um, it's a little bit easier than using a like sandpaper by hand. So a palm sander, you're going to also want a hammer and then of course to hammer the nails in. And then also um, we are using just a regular circular saw, but a chop saw would also work really well too. So any of the tools that you have at home should work just fine. Again, this is a lot of stuff that we're just using what we have and we're not really going to go out and buy a whole bunch of more stuff to make these. So I will again have directions on the blog um, in a couple of weeks when I can nail everything down. But this is what we're using with what we have so we don't have to spend any money because we're trying to save to buy a farm.
cut. I actually had my boyfriend cut these, so that's why you didn't see those getting cut. But now that we have everything cut, again, instructions on how to do all of this is actually going to be on my blog that'll post probably a few days after this. We'll see um, if I can get them all done. Now, now is the part where we're going to start putting it all together. The first thing I am going to do, because I have this contact paper and as a way to help waterproof the wood, is I'm actually going to put this down first. I'm going to put a little layer of wood glue and then this down and just kind of stack them all so that they keep each other um, so it lays flat and it glues tight. And then I will start assembly on everything else after that dries a little bit.
um, ceiling trays being built. Now I wanted to show you the roosts. This was so much fun. Again, we used what we had at our home um, to make them and our chickens are so much happier. The babies weren't allowed to roost. The adults went into their own little thing and so they made the babies huddle up in one nesting box together. And so now they get some space to roost as well. So our chickens are a lot happier, they feel better, and that makes me happy. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can keep up to date on what is happening at ZB Farms.